Good evening, guys. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Arnoldo, thank you so much for joining. Adolfo, hello. Hi, Gabby. Good evening. How are you doing? I also see we have today. Let's take a look here. Andrea, good evening. Hi guys, how are you? How is everything going? Everything good? Everything okay? Hello, how good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing, guys? How are you doing, Adolfo? Oh, well, everything going well. Oh, okay. Good I to just come. Uh, uh, I just arri uh, arrived into my home. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining in that case, and I hope your day was okay. Thank you for the joining. You know, super early then. Um. So Kenya, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, good to see you guys. Happy Thursday. Noemi, good evening. Well, guys, I think it's like kind of good news, I would say, especially because vacation is coming too. So, you know, terminamos esta primera semana eh, tomorrow, which is amazing. And then we're going to have like a couple of days off o para los que tienen vacaciones well we are going to have like a very nice and deserved vacation right so uh thanks a lot guys for joining today gracias por conectarse temprano thanks for being here christian good evening uh helen thank you for joining as well thank you for your cameras guys you. good evening how are you Okay, How thank you. are you doing? Okay, are you working? You're working. You're working. working. No, Helen, don't work. <laughs> okay, okay, miss. So that that is all right. Uh, igual, you know, if you finish early, so you are always welcome to participate. Arnoldo, are you working? Uh, I don't know if Arnoldo is working too. Arnoldo, probably he is. Okay. Okay, guys, so gracias por conectarse. You know, I know that we have things to do. Um, algunos probablemente no han cenado todavía. You haven't had dinner yet, but still, guys, thanks a lot for, uh, you know, taking the time to join classes. So uh, today vamos a trabajar un poquito la parte de eh, preferences, right, that we began, we began yesterday utilizando uh, would rather, the preferred, and uh, también vamos a trabajar a little bit quantifiers as well. So give me just a moment. Um, uh, to get us started today, I have this little debate that I want to check with you super quick. That it's called customers are not, are not always right. And I think that we are super familiar with this porque creo que todos trabajan con personas. Everybody works with people. Um, so you, we don't work with computers, we don't work, you know, uh, with tools, but we work with people at some point. So let's take a look at this statement and tell me guys what you think about it. So customer is not always right. Uh, here you have a couple of expressions uh, that we can use to talk about this um, statement, let's say. For example, we have deal with. Uh, we checked this yesterday, right? Uh, so deal with is like lidiar, tratar, so, you know, deal with people, right? We have behavior, so like conduct, right? So that would be behavior or behave. So like when you tell a person, hey, you comportate, so behave, right? So we can use a couple of these expressions, behavior, behave, react, right? Get along, if you have a good relationship, so you get along, I don't know. I don't know, guys, if you get along with everybody, so si se llevan bien, you get along with customers, you get along with your boss, you get along with coworkers, or that is not the case, and we have to deal with difficult people. 
uh, we have complain, right? Uh, when you don't like something, you complain. And also we have this kind of customer who plays the victim. <laughs> so la victima, right? So guys, um, this is the point. This is the statement. So it says, customers are not always right. Guys, do you agree with this statement? Because I guess we have this like, um, we hear this everywhere, right? So uh, customer is always right. But today I brought something different. Customers are not always right. What do you think? Have you ever had a hard situation with people, dealing with people? Uh, do you have any experience you want to tell us? So guys, we are all ears. Mm, in, me, in my case, sometimes some people not not know exactly what he or she needs. Oh, okay. So what do you do in that case? What do you do when the customer or people don't know what they need? Uh, or they don't know what they want. We have a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, but but it, still, if after talking to them, you know, uh, they don't feel satisfied. Mm. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes they are not satisfied. Okay. So, uh, but have you ever had uh, like a, a very difficult situation to deal with? Mm. Or a difficult customer? Mm. Or are you a difficult customer? Because <laughs> that is something, di something different, right? That sometimes we can be the customers and we are hard customers or the complicated customers. So guys, what do you think here? Any idea, any thought? Tell us guys, so customers are not always right. What do you think? Do you agree with this? For me, it's correct because um, the customer always uh, want to be the, the reason, but it's not correct because uh, we we have mistake mm -hmm. okay. and one day too. Have you ever had like a difficult customer, a hard customer? Uh, fortunately. Uh, I only um, deal with uh, with internal customers. Uh, for the department, uh, we have a um, uh, customer department for for attending the the clients. Uh, service del cliente. Uh, customer service. Um, yes, customer service. I'm sorry, but. Uh, no uh, uh, we don't have contact directly with the clients, only oh, customer service. But that is good. That is just amazing that mm -hmm. you don't talk to the in customers. Case, in my case, no, it's good because oh. um, the customer service department um, uh, do all the process uh, very slowly mm -hmm. because I I answer them and they answer to the clients and the clients uh, answer and they answer to me and mm -hmm. it's a slowly the process. There are too many people, so there are yes. too many people in between. Okay. The client, the the the, the cadena chain chain chain. chain. Okay. The change is 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 learned. It's mm -hmm. difficult. It's difficult, really. Yeah, like the communication channels, right? Are are not uh, that fast. Or the, okay, well, but but in a way, it's good. It's bad. So I would say mm -hmm. it's good. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> you, you made a point there. Okay, yes. uh, Angelica, I read your message. No worries. Thank you for coming, Angelica. I hope you get home sound and safe. 
Uh, Rafa, hi Rafa, good evening. Imelda, good evening. Hi, good evening sir. How are you guys? Good evening. Oh, good evening. Okay. All right. So, guys, we are discussing this statement uh, that is pretty different from what we know, probably, that is, customers are not always right. So, um, what would you say about this? Guys, has anybody had a hard customer, a difficult customer? Yes, I <clears throat> uh, I worked uh, when I was a teenager. I worked at a restaurant like wait waitress. Waitress, uh huh. Yes, so I have to deal with many uh, customer with bad behavior. Oh, sounds really bad. I'm sorry to hear yes. that. But it was just uh, because they had a bad attitude towards you or because uh, what was the main uh, issue uh, or the main problem? I think the main problem is when maybe the, the food is not like they, they expect uh, okay. uh, or they expect it. So many customer, uh, they um, complain. Reclamar. Complain. Como reclamar. Yes. Complain. This one. We can use this. Uh -huh. Complained. Yes. Yeah, uh, they complained with the people with the person who has served the the, the food. Uh -huh. Even the, the person don't have the 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 guilt. Uh -huh, or they didn't have any responsibility. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, so they, that's bad. Yes, and in the worst mm -hmm. is when they expect that you don't um, cobrar. Ah, that you don't charge them. So yes, they want when, the when food they, for free? Yes, when they want the food for free. And you as, as waitress, you don't have the um permission maybe uh -huh. or, or the the power como, como la, yes the power to make that decision oh okay so did they get angry um i think como no nunca me insultaron okay <laughs> they didn't insult you so they didn't like swear at you but, yes, but they but, got a bad attitude, I believe. Yes, they, they had a very, they always uh, do it the three that uh, they never come back to the restaurant. <laughs> ah, so they threaten you. Oh, yes. <laughs> what did you normally say? Mm, no sé cómo decirlo, pero. Pero eso que dicen nunca, jamás vuelvo a regresar a este lugar. Ajá. Uh -huh. and, and what was your reply? Uh -huh. um, well, I was a teenager, so I, I didn't know how to, rest, to answer to that. Okay. <laughs> so did you ever say something, I don't know, impolite? No, I I try I try to say in a polite way to uh, my apologies. Ah, to apologize. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's like really bad, but that was not your fault. Oh. It was not your responsibility in that case. But yeah, we totally get that. Okay. So we have the word that is charge. Uh, so, uh, guys, anybody else has like a, a similar experience? Or what about you? Are you a difficult uh, customer? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody or all we are a customer in some moment, right? Yes, of course. But um, we have to cons we have to take we had to take we had to take in mind uh, to be apologies, apologize. Um, mm -hmm. uh, for example, it's not always the the people have the reason, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. But I, in my case, I 
I, I, I am not uh, 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 no uh, impolite uh, people when when I buy something. So you're not impolite when you are the customer. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Because that, that is like super common. I think that if we see Melda's case, you know, all the way back or all the way around, when we have problems with Claro, you know, Tigo, with the internet mm. connection, they sur and all of them. So we become customers, as you said. So at some point, we are customers too. Um, guys, have you ever gotten like super mad at service at any, I don't know, store or service you have received? Probably over the phone, probably face-to-face. Uh, have you ever reacted aggressively or have you ever played the victim? Hmm. Uh, in my case, yes, the last year, I have problem with my internet. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the company never uh, come to, to repair. And oh, I go okay. to, the, to the agents uh, four times. Oh. And I have problems with them because I am aggressive in the last in the last time. So the last visit the was not very pleasant. Yes, yes, oh. I cancel the, the service. Were you angry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you yes. swear? Did you use bad words or something? The, the first and the second uh, uh, time, time. Yes, I am relaxing. I, but the third and fourth, no, I am, I am aggressive with it. So you were like, this is enough. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yes, in my case, my, my first job was a, a customer service in a bank. Mm -hmm. And I um, learned to, to, to reaction to the people. Mm -hmm. I am passionate, really, but in this case, no. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we have always like some limits, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's a, a really good point. So we get angry sometimes and we are not always right either. So this is the expression, right? Whenever we want to say, oh, uh, tienes la razón. So remember that we have the word reason, yes, but whenever we are talking about, oh, tienes la razón, or no tienes la razón, so we are going to use this expression. Oh, you are right. Yes, so that is the one we use. So you're right. Uh, we okay. don't we don't say uh, you have the reason right because reason is más como para razones de algo like purpose right oh one okay. of the reasons I have another reason like a purpose so we normally use you are right I am right, right or I am not right so that is the expression we use okay guys sounds really good hi tell me um, Daniel great to see you guys. Thanks a lot for activating your camera. Iris, good evening. Margarita, hello. Judy, thank you guys for joining and being with us. Just one more day, guys. Please don't miss tomorrow. And then vamos a tener una buena vacación. So thanks a lot for that. Okay, guys. So um, uh, yes. Next Tell. week, we won't have a class. Necesito confirmar todavía how many days we are going to be off. But esperaría que los compañeros de administración, you know, eh, tempranito mañana nos digan. So hopefully they are going to eh, post it tomorrow. So okay, no sé si thanks. es two days, pero creería que, creería que son más días. I believe it's going to be okay. one. <laughs> yeah, but they will they will tell us tomorrow. Why we means need para it. dónde va? Where are you going? Take us. <laughs> um, yes, I, I don't have any plans, but I need, the, need to rest. Uh, time to rest, yes. Yes, I know. And to watch Netflix. No, Netflix, <laughs> no, right? Not anymore. <laughs> so not anymore. But yes, I get that. I get that. Uh, still, you know, um, I'm having my my jury vacation is so this coming you know two weeks so i'm like yes i need vacation <laughs> so i'm definitely for it okay all right guys so um yesterday 
hablábamos un poquito de rather, right, preferred, uh, the things that we would rather do or the things that we would uh, prefer. Guys, um, help me please with the structure. ¿Cómo expresamos ideas con preferencias? Using rather. I rather. I I would rather. I would rather or I rather. Very nice. So I would rather or I rather. Exactly. So we express preferences this way, right? Uh, and it's like I would like, I would prefer. We have also another one. Que no le vimos that much yesterday, but today we can check this out. That is had better. You will see this a lot too. And we have here, had better has a similar meaning uh, to should. So remember that should is for recommendations, right? It is advisable that. And oh, look at this. Again, apostrophe D. I would the rather, apostrophe, and rather. And this one is um, a better, you'd better. So apostrophe D, but it, uh, apostrophe D, but it's because we have had. So what does it mean? Look at this one. Uh, apostrophe D better is most commonly used. We'd better get going. We should get going. Oh, we'd better. It is advisable for us to get going. I want to be home by midnight. I'd, be uh, I'd better go now or I'll, uh, I'll be late. So sometimes you will listen to a lot of people using I would rather for preferences, but sometimes you will listen to people using had better to giving recommendations as well. So it is important to make the difference when to use had better and when to use would rather. So uh, it says here, we'd better get going. Guys, si digo, we would rather get going, es lo mismo? Is it the same? What do you think? Let's take a look. We'd better get going. And yesterday we checked this expression that is, we would rather get going. Okay, we have these two expressions. So tell me, um, based on the definition that we have, um, that would rather is for preferences and with better is for should or recommendations, do they mean the same? Do they have the same meaning? We would rather get going, we'd better get going. What do you think? What do you believe, guys? Give me your opinion. What do you think? In, in Spanish, uh -huh. Okay, so in Spanish, that would be mejor. Okay. Yes. Is it the same? What do you think? No. no, because because the that should is a recommendation, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And rather is a is a, a situ a normal situation mm -hmm. that you live mm -hmm. or you are living at the moment. Okay. Okay, so yes, definitely that, that would work. So take a look at this one because they are super similar, but ¿cuál es la diferencia then? We have the second example. I want to be home by midnight. I'd better go now or, I, or I'll be late. So, ¿puedo decir I'd rather go now? Yes, you can say that. The question is, Significa lo mismo? Does it mean the same? You no, better me. take an umbrella. Yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, I think that we will rather get going is when they want to go mm -hmm. or want to do something. Okay. And we better is when they must do something. And I think. Okay, okay, we are getting super close and you definitely got a point there, exactly. Guys, imagine that you are visiting some friends 
and suddenly you know um it's i don't know it starts raining so and it's super late what would you say we would rather get going or we'd better get going what would be better better we better get going we better get going because get going. it's like advisable. Oh, it's so late. It's raining. It is going to get us. super dangerous. So it's mejor, like a recommendation for us, right? Oh, we better get going. Or you'd better get going if I want to recommend it to another person. So ¿qué sucede con we would rather get going? So yeah. It's like a decision, but this is more in the sense that ya no me siento como acá, you know, or your friends are not paying attention to you, they are in the phone, they are watching, I don't know, doing whatever. So, and we feel like um, we are being an obstacle there. We don't feel comfortable. So that wouldn't be, we'd better get going. Like, nos deberíamos de ir, sino, in that case, that would be, creo que sería mejor si nos fuéramos. And I think it's our choice, right? I don't feel comfortable here. Um, I think we would rather get going. We don't want to stay for dinner, right? <laughs> so, se parece mucho. They are super, super similar. But there is, at some point, one that is better than the other. But I think you definitely got it. So if you take a look at the example we have right there, uh, you'd better take an umbrella. So you should. Uh, a very nice way to see this is cambiamos el better or apostrophe the better for should. You should take an umbrella. Oh, you'd better take an umbrella. They said it might rain. So you immediately get it. I want to be home at midnight. I better go now. I should go now. So it is better, as you already said. And the negative form that we have right here, it's um, had better, right? Is had better not. I look at these. Yesterday, veíamos la forma negativa de would rather. I would rather not go. I would rather not do it. I would rather not say anything. And here we have the negative form for had better. I had better not. So yo mejor no, but of course, me falta algo. So I'd better not say anything. It's like, it's recomendable, right? It's a recommendation that I don't do this. So si se parece mucho, they are super similar, but at some point, podemos escoger one of them. Uh, guys, we are going to practice some exercises because that is the best way we have uh, to get this topic, you know, uh, working. So give me just a moment. I, I think I don't have it here. No, I don't have it. Okay, hold on. Let me present a part of the material, right? And uh, we have your book. So in your material, in your manual, you have page, page number 13. We are going to practice just a couple of exercises. We would rather and the apostrophe the rather, and then we practice have better as well. So we get the whole thing uh, straight. So um, if you go to page number 13, you have a little bit of description on the part of would rather, that is something we studied yesterday. So remember that we never modify the verb and we never used to either. So um, we have, for example, this one that says, uh, would rather, rather, que es lo mismo. So just we have the apostrophe or the contraction here. They rather withdraw the product, you know, would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Um, guys, we are going to complete the exercise that is right here, that is at the bottom, exercise number five, using would rather. As soon as we finish, we'll go with the next uh, grammatical part. So this one says, order the words to create sentences and compare your answers with a partner. If you pay attention here, everything is like um, scrambled, right? Everything is a mess. So we are going to put the different expressions together to make a sentence. 
Um, let me see. Can you do me a big favor? Can you write them in the chat, please? Or can you say them orally? Can you help me with any of them? And we're gonna do this together. I think it'll be better. So you can write them in the chat or activate your microphone and I'll be happy to check this for you. The manager would rather ask. Hold on. This is 13. Okay, let's run. Hold on. Okay, here you go. So you said number number one, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, so the manager? The manager would rather ask, ask the create team to design a relaunch of growth. Okay, so the manager would rather ask to? To the creative, creative team. Oh, to the creative team? Mm -hmm. To design a relaunch of the product. Uh, to design a relaunch. A relaunch of the product. Of the product. Okay, guys, do you agree with this one? Do you have something different? <laughs> Any other possibility? Um, the manager would rather ask. Um, we would rather ask to the manager to design a relaunch to change, the, mm -hmm. change, change the, the order of the, uh, the, the words. Okay, person. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Uh, but actually, this makes sense. So yeah, we can we can change the order, but it still makes sense. So the manager would rather ask to the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. That sounds good, actually. Sounds quite fine, and it makes sense. So let me write it in the chat. Okay, guys, what about the second one? So in the second one, we have that one, sell our product, many distributors at a lower price would rather match. Um, many distributors, many yeah. distributors would rather match, sell or product at a lower price. Okay, so many distributors would rather would rather match, match. Mm -hmm. sell, sell our product at a lower price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you agree? Do you have any other possibilities? Something else we can check here? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So many distributors. Okay. So that sounds all right. Let's go with number three, guys. Number three, number four, and number five. Can you do me a favor? Can you write it in the chat, please? So try to do it on your own and write them in the chat. Three, four, and five. Okay. Not that long. No, they are not that long. Um, give me 
markets. Google. Rather, we travel the product. In the market. In new markets, they yeah. would rather withdraw the product than introduce it. Next one, as a premium option, once the product is the decline stage, many company will rather, oh, will rather operate as a premium option. Okay. Okay, guys. Many uh, company. Number number three. Uh, I see a couple of options. Uh, they are really nice, but I think we can change the order a little bit. So number three, guys. Uh, they would rather withdraw the product. That is good. Rafa says they would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new markets. Yes, very nice. That is the one exactly. So they would rather withdraw the products than introduce it in new markets. And I think Yuri has the same. Yes, very nice. That is the idea, exactly. What about number four, guys? As a premium option, it would rather operate once the product is in the decline stage. And then we have many companies. Many companies would rate operate. Bombs. Would rather operate when the product is in the decline stage. Would rather operate a premium option. Would rather operate a premium option. Um, okay. Many companies would rather operate as a production. Okay. Mm, okay, guys, let's try to begin this with ones. 
let's start this idea with ones. Let's try to start number four with ones, please. Okay, let me take a look. Once the product is in the decline stage, many companies would rather operate as a premium option. Yes, very nice, Christian, there we go. Okay, very, very good. So yeah, you definitely got it in the previous ones. Um, so it started with many companies, but where the most com something, you know, doesn't really much. So very good job, but you got it, guys. Nice, nice. Let's go with number five. Let's go with the last one. The low cost provider of a product would rather become many more companies with great caution about price wars. Any idea with this one? Number five. I see that Adolf is ready. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product. Okay. With great caution about price score. Okay. Yes. Sounds really good. Yes, Adolfo, very nice job with that. Okay. Good job. A little complicated, right? <laughs> so they sound quite complicated because of the vocabulary too, but you did a very nice job. Yeah, because the the order the order is changing. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Hi, hi Carlos. Good evening. How you doing? Good fine, teacher. Thank you. Good to hear. Sounds really, really good. Christian says many more companies with great caution about price wars would rather become the low cost provider of a product. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it definitely makes sense as well. Okay. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for this. Now it's our time to practice the part of would rather. And also we're going to try to practice a little bit the part of have rather, I mean, have better, right? Whenever we're talking about recommendations. So give me just a moment. Let me present this super quick. Let me see if I can show you this. Okay, there we go. So that is the one. Okay, so we were talking about this part of have the better or uh, add better, you better, shit better, etc. Um, that means should right like for recommendations something that is advisable and would rather we have just checked that is like prefer like would like like want so we're going to practice this part what would you say in the following situations just have better or would rather to give your opinion we have for example you feel very tired and you think you need a holiday so if this is the situation and i'm talking to my friend you know um what well, what do you think i can tell my friend if i tell you hey guys uh, or uh imelda said before i vacation i really need vacation i think i i should go you know I, I need a holiday i need august vacation so if we are talking about recommendations preferences what can we tell the person what would you tell me so we are going to do a little um, description here. Give me one second. So should, can, third, want, and need. Okay, guys. So the exercise that we are going to do is like this. 
we are going to give a couple of, imagine guys, que son conversaciones normales. This is the situation. So voy a hablar con mi amigo. I'm going to talk to my friend about these situations, but no está permitido. It is not permitted to use should, can, prefer, want, or need. No lo vamos a utilizar. We are not going to use any of these expressions. So try to find a way to use others like must or have better or no puedo usar prefer. So you can use would rather or choose. Ayer me decían decide, um, speak, you know. So busquemos otras formas. Look for other ways to give your opinion, to give your recommendations um, without using should, can, prefer, want, or need. Guys, is that clear? Yes. Remember, esa es la situación, right? This is the situation. So you can tell just your friends, like, imagine this one, it's raining and your friends are just walking home and you want to take a taxi. So you can be like, oh my God, it's super late, it's raining. Um, sh shall we go for an Uber? And you say, no, I think we would rather go walking, I love rain, you know? So the thing is, you cannot use any of these expressions. So guys, um, vamos a trabajarlas, obviously, like little conversations. No van a escribir nada, you don't need to write anything. Just don't forget not to use those words. So esas palabras están prohibidas. Those words are banned today, all right? So try to use others. Give me one moment. Le pueden tomar captura. You can take a screenshot of this uh, so you can keep the, the situations. I'm going to send you to the groups. And uh, guys, we have like five, 10 minutes to practice them. I'm going to be jumping, right? No es permitido, guys. So, ya vamos a poner, I don't know, probably penalties <laughs> for using should. We will think about it. Okay, guys, vamos a los grupos, please. Let's go to the groups. So, we got five, 10 minutes to practice.
for example, you are looking after us. As okay. And No sé si la terminó, Adolfo, le escuchamos cortado. <coughs> no, yo yo can continue. Catherine, we have a question. Hello, Cat. Who is hello, Catherine. Kat Catherine, hello. Oh, I was going to ask the same question. <laughs> uh, who is Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> you have Andrea and you have Iris. Ah, okay. But we have we have a question. <laughs> we have to read to to adapt our conversation. Uh, on this paragraph, or we can change the history. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the question is for me? Yeah. Oh, I'm not Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher. Yeah. I'm not Catherine, my name That's, is Julie. <laughs> Julie, okay. Sorry. And I was like, I was like, no, the thing is that I saw you were talking to Iris. So I was like, wait, what? Okay. Sorry. No, uh, okay. This is the this is the situation, but of course you can modify it as you please. Okay. So you can change it because you have, for example, you feel tired, you think you need a holiday, but seamos the recommendations, for example. So you can say, I don't know. I haven't had vacation in a really long time. But if I want to say would rather that for preferences, so we can use, I don't know, like um, my family is coming from another country. So I don't know if I should uh, travel or stay at home with them, you know, or go together with them. So then we will go with preferences like would rather. So it is pretty much up to you. Like there's another conversation, you know. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, one person, uh, for example, Rafa, puede decir, oh, I feel super tired, you know. Uh, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go out. And I don't know, Iris, for example, can go like, Oh, yeah, I'm tired, but I need to go out. You know, I don't want to be at home. <laughs> I feel, I don't know, in, in a cage. So the, the idea is that we have two situations. You have two different situations. Mm -hmm. That is That's the okay. one. So yes, you can modify it. OK. <laughs> No se me suena, no sé si están de acuerdo. Yes. Okay. And in the number four, it's raining. Your friend suggests walking home. You want to take a taxi. For me, it's, I will re I will rather take a taxi. Uh -huh. Or going to home. <laughs> no. Just better. So here in... Interesting. Interesting. Ah, no. Dice... Mm -mm. It's no. raining. It's... You I rather. prefer... <laughs> but... Sí, es una preferencia. But... Es... I can say I prefer then I will rather go take a taxi. Sí. This I is very interesting, guys, because taxi. it depends on the situation. Imagine I tell you, oh my God, I was robbed. 
I don't have any money. Um, so, or you know what, today is the 27th or 28th, I'm not sure. I don't have any money left. I'm broke. So ya no sería una preferencia, sino un consejo. Um, I think we have better walk, you know, because we don't have money. So it, it really depends on the situation. So you can uh, make it up, you know. So yes. pueden cambiarla. You can change this. You can modify it. So that is all right. That's totally fine. But if I if I have money, I would rather take a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so if I have money, I'd rather take a taxi too. I don't want to get wet. Yes, so, yes. I don't want to sick. <laughs> exactly. So we don't want to get sick. Uh huh. I agree. Yes, but it is is dependently the what we want. Okay, and the number five, your favorite pop singer is coming to your town. Your friend thinks there will be loss of ticket left. Mm -hmm. You think you should buy them now? Now, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can always modify it, you know. Uh, for example, uh, Daddy Yankee is coming super soon. Um, we sing in Jandel. We sing in Jandel. Ah, you see? So we sing in Jandel and Jandel is coming. Daddy Yankee is coming. Um, who else? Bad Bunny. Or... No, but yeah. no, todavía. Bad Bunny? Okay, so I, Bad Bunny. I am not sure. But yes, I think I'm not that sure. No. Uh -huh, so imagine it says, um, so this person is coming to, to El Salvador. Only La Bichota. <laughs> <laughs> so you think... <laughs> that there will be a lot of tickets left. But the other person says, no, I think we'd, we'd better buy them right now, you know, because I don't want to sleep outside, uh, I don't know, Multiplaza to wait for the ticket. So that is the point. So uh, you can choose. This is like a little, like a sort of conversation. So pueden tomar dos, you, we can have two people, you know, um, discussing it over, como una conversación, like a little conversation. Uh, guys, I'll see you in a moment. Oh, pienso que podría ser también. You have, you have better not drive. Uh, Or maybe um, I I
it had better if Billy try. Maybe I don't know. Yes, that it that it it can work. I confuse in the last sentence. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think in the in the number six we have a give more uh, option maybe yes yes we we can say two or three option it had better if you take a uber <laughs> yes it could be Hmm. Okay. okay. I think No sé si los demás están de acuerdo, tengan alguna duda. Dan Reina. Oh, yo. Esto sí, estamos. Ready. Yes. Already, guys. Um, hi. So, did you find any difficulty using had better or it is okay for you? It's fine. Mm, I think in, in it the is last okay. sentences, uh, we have a little confused, maybe. In my case, uh, can you can you read it, please? Um, you've been to a party with Bill and Simon. Bill has had a lot of drink. What would you say if he offered to drive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and um, we, we say the, the recommendation maybe can be, um, I had better, it had better if, if we will drive, Oh, okay. So yeah, imagine that um, I am the person, right? I'm the person who is super drunk. We have been to a party and I'm like, no, give me the keys. I want to drive. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So what would you tell me? It'd be better, you said. It'd be better if you take a Uber. Oh, okay. So it'd be better if I take an Uber. All right. Uh, or you mentioned like it'd be better if another person drives, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, according to the, the example, Bill and Simon had the together. Mm -hmm. And said, uh, Bill is drunker. Mm He's -hmm. a drunker. And mm -hmm. Simon, and Simon, um, it better if Simon drive. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would work. That would definitely work. So Daniel, but if I'm telling you, no, 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 why pay for an Uber? I want to drive. What would you tell me? Mm, I, I would rather prepare an Uber. Would you would rather pay an Uber? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's a possibility too. También podemos utilizar negative, right? Like, oh, tú no deberías. So, we can also use, no. como no podemos usar should. So, how can we express that one? You have better not. Yes. So, right? you better, you better not drive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, that is like, no es recomendable que manejes. So you'd better not drive because you have drunk a lot because you're super drunk. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that sounds really good. Sounds really nice. Okay. Have okay. better is like um, 
no deberías o deberías. Yes, exactly. So, had better, you say should, pero mucho más bonito. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> mucho más florido. Uh, shouldn't, la forma negativa sería had better not. So, es el mismo shouldn't, sí, but yeah, it's No lo podemos, good. al momento de formular la, la pregunta, no podríamos usar de una sola vez, por ejemplo, I wouldn't. No, mm, rather, me... no. Ah, I wouldn't ah, rather. Ok, lo que sucede es que um, para propósitos, you know, de estructura, si sí wouldn't es la forma negativa, pero esta estructura es como de preferencia. A wouldn't rather ya me perdió el significado, me perdió la esencia, you know, la, de, la, um, de la expresión gramatical. So la forma negativa okay. que vamos a usar, aunque wouldn't es la forma correcta que acostumbramos, eh, lo que vamos a utilizar acá es I would rather not. Es como mucho okay, más thanks. fuerte. ¿Mm? Lo I mismo understand. con had better, because you know that had better podemos usar had and better, and that sounds good, and it's okay, mm -hmm. pero para propósitos de lo que yo quiero expresar, que es mucho más fuerte, that, that is the, the, the structure. So had better not, would rather not. Es mucho más fuerte. ¿Mm -hmm? Okay, I thank you. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Sorry, um, it's an, another question. It was about O2. I understand that ah, O2 okay. is, is like a should. Yes. Or is it is um, but I, I don't know, but I remember that is use it more in British. Mm. I have to be super honest with you. Um, there are a couple of expressions que sí tienen mucho que ver con la zona eh, geográfica, but other expressions son como más antiguas, you know. So, okay. out of, yes, I would say, um, no tanto de British, but I would say es como más antiguo, you know, like super, okay. super old. Ya casi no se usan, so it's not very common to listen to the auto. And probably van a utilizar esta o van a escuchar en inglés viejito, en películas de señores, this expression that is shall. So oh, shall, okay. uh -huh, um, is another way to say should, pero es como súper formal, súper bonito. I love it pero ya no se usa. So people don't use it anymore. Pero es como uh, deberíamos, pero una forma súper bonita. Like deberíamos irnos, shall we leave? Deberíamos llamar, shall we call? En vez de should, I say shall. So, but again, están desapareciendo. So, yes. Okay. Ahora is should, shall, también is should. Uh, had better, también is should. Pero, you know, um, hablando de inglés, algunas de ellas sí ya van desaparecer. Mm -hmm. But yes, no, I'm okay. glad you know about it. <laughs> no, I mean, what is your question? Uh, for this expression, how better um, um, and we, rather, uh, we, we can uh, do answer. Answer. No hay forma de cuestiones, de, de preguntas, perdón. Um, would you rather, have you better? Yeah, you can ask. Uh, for example, with rather, you can ask, would you rather? So with had better, yes, of course, podemos utilizar have. But had you better go? But no es muy común. That, that wouldn't be very common. Sí, se puede, pero súper rebuscada, you know. So, okay. uh, let me see if I can come up with some examples. Um, no yes, puedo recordar. I, I, I read the, the, the book and, the, and I, I don't found, uh, I didn't found in the... Examples of questions. Yes. <laughs> Now, um, had I better speak? I mean, si se puede, according to this one, si se puede, como, como would you rather, so had I better, pero no es como, it's not very common. Um, mm, mm, I would say es muy rebuscada, pero si se puede, you can do it. And okay. uh, like, for example, had you better stay here than leave, but, pero no es como. 
that is the point that it's not very common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, that is the point. You. Okay, guys. So give me just a moment. Let's go back and let's continue practicing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. See you in the All right, guys. So we have a couple of situations here that we are going to be working on. I know, especially had better, we get like a lot of questions on that part. Uh, and guys, no sé si algo, um, I don't know, al momento que les estuvieron practicando, les surgieron preguntas of any of them, how to use them, something that is not 100% clear. Okay, so I would take that as a no, but guys, si les surgen dudas en el camino, let us know. Um, yesterday we said, uh, ¿qué sucede con terceras personas? It is going to be exactly the same. I would rather, she would rather, we would rather, so no hay ningún cambio, and we never change verbs. Had better, lo mismo. I had better, she had better, they would better, I'm sorry, they had better. So we pretty much do not change had, and we do not um, change, uh, we'd rather, right? Okay, guys, so uh, let's go and uh, I'm going to pick a couple of situations and I'd like to have some volunteers. So, um, volunteer number one is going to be Christian. <laughs> Thank you so much for volunteering, Christian. Volunteer number two is going to be Judy. <laughs> Gracias, guys, for the volunteering. So, um, the situation, guys, it is going to be number two, a friend suggests going to a party and you would like to go to a disco. So, Christian, um, you can take this one. So, you want to go to a party, right, that you have been invited, I don't know, uh, a birthday party, um, something. And Judy, you want to go to a disco. So guys, la idea es una conversación normal. We are going to try to make a normal conversation, but you have to convince the other person to go to the place you want. Judy, are you ready? Kristen, are you ready? Yeah. So, so. <laughs> no worries, uh, guys, los ayudamos, right? So we will help you if you get stuck, if there is something you don't know how to say, Y pues acá lo investigamos, no se preocupen. So it's like, hey, okay. Judy, let's go to the disco. And then you're like, no, pero que nos han invitado a una, a something, you know? So let's try to have like a normal conversation. Christian, let's start. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Do you want to go to a party? Hi, Christian. Um, I will, I will better go, <laughs> sorry. No worries, no worries. I, no piensa tanto en gramática. Don't think about grammar. Just try to get, give your okay. idea like normal, right? Don't I, think about grammar much. I'd rather. Okay. I would rather, I would rather go to the party. 
in at night sorry at night um mm. <laughs> And Judy, creo que usted iba a ir a la disco. <laughs> so you need to go to the disco. <laughs> okay. Yes, I I, I better. Okay, Kristen. So you have to convince her to go to the party. Mm. Um I don't know, que like, los han invitado, that you have been invited, that there is a birthday uh, celebration, um, and she is important. I don't know, so make it up. We, we will be all right, for example. Aha, aha, uh, exactly. Music too, yeah. to dance. Uh, uh -huh. yes. Like yeah. Thank you, guys. Nice ideas, yes. To take off this stress. Uh -huh. I mean, that is the same. I don't know. And you are not going to spend a lot of money. So uh -huh. try to convince her. <laughs> but, is uh, it by free? But Judy, is the birthday of um, Maria? <laughs> Sorry? Uh, it's the birthday of Maria. Ah, you can okay, go. I understand. I would bear no, You might go to the party. Hi. Yes. <laughs> yes, Yuri, okay. we, can, we can hear you. Okay. Um, it's perfect that the the idea mm -hmm. for me. Okay. Oh, so you like convince you? <laughs> so he convinced you. <laughs> okay. So so easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, guys. That sounds really good. Judy, we fast to convince Judy. I am very yeah, persuasive. <laughs> so he's super persuasive. Okay. No, that was actually very nice. And guys. Definitely. Um, that, that this part of uh, thinking about the structure, it nos complica bastante. Don't think about the, the, the structure. Don't think about oh, subject rather. So I meant to try to give you an idea, right? Judy, you did a very nice job. Christian, thank you so much for that. Christian, selección el siguiente, please. Select the next victim. Judy, select Julie, next victim. Julie, you make you make friendly the class. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we try to use every resource we have. Um, Kristen, who's next? Judy, who's next? Mm. Kenya, hello. I see your camera now. <laughs> so you finished working? Yes, sure. I finished. Yes. No, I am only in the conference. Don't work uh. so much. <laughs> Kristen, who's next? I choose... Rafael. Antonio. Okay, Rafael. Perfect. And Judy, who do you pick? Judy, Judy? Uh, sorry, teacher. Yes, select somebody. Select a person. Select another person. Select okay, person. okay. Pick somebody. Okay. Um, okay. Carlos Mario? Carlos, okay. Carlos, are you around? <laughs> I'm not sure if Carlos here. Carlos, Carlos? Uh, select another mm, person. I'm, yeah, Angelica? probably. Uh, Car Angelica was driving. Angelica, are you with us? <laughs> no, no. no ha At the probably. moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think she was driving. Okay, somebody else? It's, it's on the okay. way. It is. Are you with us, ladies? 
I'm here. Oh, Carlos is here. Okay, perfect. So, Rafa, uh, Carlos, help us, guys. You have been the, the well, you are the chosen ones. So, okay. this is the what? situation. Let me, okay, let's see here. So, um, okay. This is the situation, number five. Your favorite singer is coming to El Salvador. Your friend things there will be a lot of tickets left but we are going to modify this so carlos you want to go to daddy yankee's concert and uh, uh, rafa you want to go to who is the other guys who is the other person uh, um me lo dijo. somebody said that Wishing, Yandel. Okay, so Wishing. Okay, so Rafa, you, <laughs> Rafa, you want to go to Wishing and Yandel concert, and Carlos, you want to go to Daddy Yankee's concert. So, guys, you have to convince the other person, right? Again, words you cannot use should, need, and want. So, no se pueden usar. Try to find other words uh, to keep your conversation going. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Listos or not? Here, ready or not? There we go. Hi, <laughs> Carlos. Hi, uh, First, uh, what's the age of my partner? Or my okay. friend? Uh, the age of... Oh, it's Rafa. So it's him. Rafa. I don't know. How old are you, Rafa? In the 30s, let's say. He's in the 30s. The 30s. Mm -hmm. In the other? And the other is you. <laughs> so you want you want to go. Uh -huh. You want to go to uh, to Daddy Jenkins and Rafa wants to go to Wissing and Jandels. You, you have to invite. Hello. Hello, hello, Carlos. Hello, Rafael. I I I want to invite a concert at the Wissing. Oh, we sing Yandel. Yes. It's a nice group. But uh, in fact, in the, the same date, uh, uh, Daddy Yankee is coming to town. Don't you like the music of Daddy Yankee? Um, I little uh, like, but I, I will. Um, the lots of tickets. What? Sorry. I so. forget. Forget about it. Just continue. Uh -huh. Just continue. No, no lea la descripción. Don't, don't worry about the description. <laughs> well, uh, thinking about uh, our age, I a little bit older than you, but I really like every kind of music. And I think because uh, thinking about your age, don't you think that that is Yankee is a little bit more acceptable than we sing in Yankee? For me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uno like, favor. Like, uh, uh, so but, the calle. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, I, I'm free now. <laughs> yes, I, I, I would rather uh, be seen, but the concert is incredible. Do you saw the ones? Do you saw them in another concert? Yes, I... I I had uh, one concert in the last year. It's, it's well. Um, I have it shown was, two yeah. concerts, Daddy Yankees, and the well. I think about the music of Daddy Yankees is a little bit more uh, variable. I don't know how to say. 
um, I don't know what to say. Well, if you want to go with me, Daddy Yankee, I'm going to pay the hop with the ticket. What do you think? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know you are going to be so much fun in there. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rafa, do you, like you the, accept? Okay, yes, I, I have right. better. Uh, that is Yankee. <laughs> oh, there we go. Very nice. Oh, I like, I like the way you, you, um, you convinced him. So, Carlos, very good job with that. <laughs> Rafa, nice. You made it hard for Carlos to convince you as well. <laughs> that was very nice. And and the, the yes, issue of, not for <laughs> for that for Wissing and Jandel, no, but they belong to the same generations, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, and are you Yankee is inclusive for people a little bit more younger? He has been. He still is uh, uh, lanzando music. Daddy Yankee? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Yeah. I think that Daddy Yankee was uh, one of the first uh, reggaeton players or reggaeton singers that existed. So uh, I would say he's more famous than Wisin and Jandel. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Carlos, are you out? Yeah. I think I saw your umbrella, so I was like, where is yeah, he? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I am, I'm being in a reunion of familiar. Oh, okay. So enjoy it. Yeah. And thank you so much for participating. <laughs> wow. No, no, no. I, 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 El, eh, había mucha bulla, eh. entonces tuve que salirme para poder escuchar, pero sí estoy poniendo atención. <laughs> oh, no, thank you so much for that. And, and no, no, enjoy. no, no, nada que agradecer. Enjoy with Are your you family as well. Sounds really nice. Oh, thank that you. is commitment. Super cool. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, so moving on. Very good job, guys. Super spontaneous, you know, super natural. Y de eso se trata, right? That is what we're trying to do that. From a situation, intentamos dar un poco más de información. So we're going to move on with one, uh, with one more activity. And that is related to the following. Give me just a second. I think I lost it. Um, yes, I lost. No, there we go. So um, this unit is about like some products that exist in the market that are discontinued, etc. So then there was one more conversation and then we're going to try to get into more free practice. So, uh, vamos a hablar un poquito de uh, the reasons for the decline of a product. So, yes, the strategies for a business to deal with the decline of a product. So, uh, I don't know if you remember the green tortricas <laughs> we were talking about before, this product that is super weird. Um, and so, something mm -hmm. happened. And here we have Sonia and Oscar are talking about green tortricas and its behavior. Guys, what's the meaning of behavior? Oh, perdón, no les estoy compartiendo pantalla, right? Can you no. see my screen? Can you see it now? Yes, yes. Okay. Right now. Thank you. So guys, uh, what do you remember? What is the meaning of behavior? Comportamiento. Comportamiento. Very good. There we go. So they are talking about the behavior of this in the market. And it says, listen to the instructor, me, read the conversation. But I want you to read it. And uh, it says, and then practice with a partner. Let me read it, and then I'm going to have some people. So it says, did you hear the sales of the green tortrica uh, have declined? I did, and declined. I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Introduce it to the market. Yes, I introduce remember. Introduce it. it. You put a lot yeah. of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green to tortricas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. So guys, let's practice a couple of expressions. Number one, I can't believe it. Guys, repeat with me. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. One more time. Vamos a hacer más fuerte, Ken. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 
Very good. Next one. We worked. 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 Okay. Introduce it. Introduce it. Introduce it. Introduce, Introduce it. it. Very good. De una sola vez. Introduce it. Okay. Next Introduce one. It. Pura loro. Pura, pura loro. Pura loro. Pura loro. Pura loro. Pura loro. Pura. Pura loro. Pura loro. You pura loro. You pura loro before. So pura loro. Mm -hmm. Okay, this word uh, right here, O-F, no la pronunciamos off, la pronunciamos of. Pura loro. Pura loro. Pura loro. Pura loro. Pura loro. Because off is double F, right? So pura loro. So I remember you put a lot of effort. So esto, guys, es un poquito de fluidez, fluency. No lo digo más rápido. I'm not saying this faster. Solo lo estoy conectando. So we're going to try to yeah. do this. So we have introduce it. Put a lot of, put a lot of. Pura loro, right? Pura loro, and pura la loro. primera que dice, I can't believe, no lo corto, I can't believe it. Mm -mm. I can't believe it. 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 That's the one. Next one, with the little luck. luck. With, no lo voy with a cortar, a I'm luck. not going to say with a little. Mm -mm. With, a, with the little luck. With a little With a little With a little luck. luck. With a little luck. We're a we're little, a little luck. luck. We're a little luck. 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 Okay, there we go. So, sometimes, eh, cuando esto es posible, vamos a hacer esa unión para sonar, you know, un poco we're más... We're a little luck. Uh, fluent, let's say. That's the word. No es para que lo digamos más rápido, sino para que se escuche mejor. And we don't cut words. Uh, so, ¿a quién me escuchado? Who haven't I heard today? Eh, Kenya, please, help me with the part of Sonia. Gabby, help me with Oscar's part, please. Great to see you, Gabby. I'm glad you're home. Uh, did you hear the sales of the green tree as has declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We work many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember you put up a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. <laughs> I'm not sure how to no pronounce worries. it. No worries. Go ahead. That's okay. I'll throw green tortillas. Will succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Oh, very nice. Super good. Super good. So now let's take a look at this word, guys. Let's say it slowly. Stra. Stra. Re. G. Stra. Re. G. Strategy. 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 Okay. Strategy. Christian, can you say it? Okay. The Christian? Strategy. Yes, very good, Noemi. Strategy. Very good, Iris. Strategy. Perfect, there we go. And let me see, Helen. Oh, Helen was working it? No. Yeah. Helen? Yeah. I'm sorry, can you say it again, please? Strategy. Okay, very nice. Exactly. So strategy, right? That's the word. Strategy. Very nice, guys. Exactly. So now one more time. Let's just pronounce one more expression. And uh, it is the one we have right here. Um, sometimes when we are speaking, remember, no vamos a escuchar el t in can't. I can't. can't. I will not listen to that. It is not uh, common to hear the t. So, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? What do we do? Um, here, fluency is very important and pronunciation is important too. So, ¿cómo, ¿cuál es la diferencia, guys? What's the difference? La diferencia no está en la but the difference is that in the pronunciation del verbo. So let's do it negative. Guys, negative sentences pronunciamos can mucho más fuerte. Vamos a subir la voz. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Guys, repita I, conmigo. I can't believe it. 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 I can't believ
I, I can't, can't believe, believe it. it. I can't believe I it. I can't believe it. Ok, ahora vamos a hacerlo en positiva. Ah, yo sí lo creo. I can't believe it. 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 So, pretty much the difference is here negative, pronuncio que más fuerte. I can't believe it. Negative sentences, voy a pronunciar. I can't believe it. También lo escuchamos, right? Negative sentences, escucho eso. I can't believe it. Escucho el can súper claro. Positive sentences, escucho el verbo más claro. I can't believe it. I Even, can't believe it. si no lo oyen, it's okay. Saben que ahí está. So, I can't believe it. Now, let's take a look at this one. Um, if I have, for example, this one, and I have the negative for this, can you read um, the first one for me, guys? ¿Cómo leemos la primera? How would you read the first? I can swim. I can, I can swim. swim. Okay. Necesito que el can me lo haga súper cortito, súper suave, que casi I no can se swim. oiga. I can, I, can swim. Swim. I can swim. I can swim. Andrea, one more time. I can swim. Very nice. Exactly. Escucho el swim más fuerte. That is positive. I can swim. So, escucho swim. En can es mucho más corto. Negative sentences, guys. How would you read it? I, I can't, can't swim. swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. Very good. Swim. There we go. No escuchamos el T. So, no sé si era negativo o positivo, but solo I con el tono de voz puedo saber si es positiva o negativa. So, I can swim. I can swim. I can cook. I can cook. I can. I, I can read cook. fast. I can really? read fast. So just you can by cook. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I can cook. <laughs> so, <laughs> but not very well. <laughs> but I can do it. So okay. exactly, I can cook. I can cook. So that I is the one. Cook. We can make a difference solo para escuchar um, the sound, right? Not necessarily the T. Now, guys, let's practice. Let's create a very similar conversation to this. It says. They are talking about the behavior in the market. And they are talking about the decline of a product. Guys, we are going to make a very similar conversation about some products that have disappeared from the market. So what are some products that no longer exist? So no longer exist. We already talked about gloopies. We already talked about because some food. Um, Marvin, we talked about haciendo? some brands. Uh, is there any other product that you think has disappeared? The is there any hands. other product that no longer exists, Christian? The beeper. Ah, yes. Nunca lo usé, means I never use it. <laughs> Christian, I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, the Walkman's. Ah, yes. Walkman. Or this Walkman. man, right? Mm -hmm. This man. This, this man. man. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I think uh, David, mm -hmm. creo que dijo que tenía uno. I think he said he had some cassettes for the Walkman, but yeah, they no yeah. longer exist. What else, guys? What is something that has disappeared? This cat. This cat. Yeah, the, this, well, that is called a floppy disk. Floppy, floppy yes, desk. That's a floppy disk. All right. Yes, exactly. I know, Miss. Mejor. <laughs> they were horrible. <laughs> yes. I remember my homework. No, that wasn't yeah. bad. Like three, four hours working. Se me caía. Homework's gone. <laughs> yeah. That was so bad. So floppy disk. What else, guys? Do you PHS. remember which one? PHS. PHS. Did you use one? Did you use the VH? Yeah. Google. Yeah. Ah, okay. Google Glasses. I think that in El Salvador they never came because they were really dangerous. But do you remember? Yeah. They were in the market. You vieron demasiados accidentes. There were too many accidents. So really? it was, it was, yeah, it was like, um, like this uh, Dragon Ball. If you have ever seen Dragon Ball, and uh, the guys have like one glass, <laughs> um, so Google glasses were like that. 
any other product guys that disappeared or that is no longer you know in existence I think we have a good list here. So based on these products, what I want you to do guys is to have like a little conversation. Car Adolfo, I'm sorry, no había visto el mensaje, but if you need to leave, that's okay. Or apaga la cámara, you can turn off your camera and that, that will be fine, no problem. Okay. That, that is all right, no worries. Okay, guys, so we are going to try to make a very similar conversation, but vamos, uh, we are going to kind of gossip, right? We are going to um, guess, gossip, the reasons why the product disappeared. Obviously, no lo sabemos, but we can have like an idea, right? We can guess, uh, we can infer, podemos adivinar. Uh, the reason why these products disappeared. So this is what we are going to do, guys. We are going to make a very similar conversation to the one we have right here. Like the person says, I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. And I thought green uh, tortricas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Obviously, vamos a agregarle un poquito más. We are going to make um, something a little bit longer. And of course, guys, preparamos la presentación today because la vamos a presentar eh, tomorrow. So we can include as much information as possible. Um, give me just a moment. I'm going to send you guys to the groups. Uh, vamos a hacer una presentación de grupo. All right, this is going to be a group presentation. So you decide si van a hablar de todos, if you are going to talk about one product only, etc. So, eh, hagamos una presentación de dos minutos, guys. A two-minute presentation, well, not presentation, a two-minute conversation per group, all right? Please tómense el tiempo, que sean dos minutos eh, por grupo. So, two-minute conversation per group. Guys, enjoy it. So, you can go there. I'm going to take a picture here. Let's go to the groups, guys. Vámonos al grupo, please. Go to the groups. Prepare it and get and have it ready. Ay, me apaga a la, a la tongo, man.
I don't know. I don't know how many times, but it uh, maybe eight hours in the case of the VHS you can only record one or two hours I don't remember I think for the capacity in this case yes yes the memory, maybe. I think it's capacity because the DVD, you can record, I don't know how many times, four hours, I think. The DVD is more capacity for of uh, the yes because the the dvd is depending about the resolution if you have if you have low resolution you have you you have more time yes to, that is to, true to, to record, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Because of that, uh, many. I don't know if you, if you remember, but the it was the technology Blu-ray. Is because of that uh, the technology Blu-ray it was a better resolution. In, in, in better resolution versus DVD resolution. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How to create the conversation? And no, we have to create a presentation about, okay. yes, about the reason why the, the device uh, was discontinued. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had an information that said a uh, VHS, it was an analogic technology. Mm -hmm. So disappear when the digital era is started. Well, man, the Sony, Sony fue el primero en fabricarlos. Ajá. Al parecer Sony es como que el que ha tenido ahí toda la... Mm -hmm. Ajá, y, y, y el cambio se fue ya con, lo, con los celulares. Esa fue la caída. Ajá, cuando con el uso de los celulares ya la, las personas no tenían que andar otro aparato, sino que en el mismo celular se podía este, tener acceso a la música. 
Bueno, sí, el celular mató varias cosas, las cámaras, los Goldman. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Pero siempre ellos mismos son los que, los que, porque de aquí dice Sony mantuvo a Goldman como reproductor de música predeterminado de sus teléfonos inteligentes, dice. Hasta que posteriormente se renombró como música. <risa> Siendo los principales cambios la interfaz adaptada al material diseñado presente en el Android, en el Android 5. Entonces, lo que, lo que hace referencia es de que el motivo del cambio del nombre se debe a que si bien durante mucho tiempo la marca Walmart ha sido asociada a la música. Las nuevas generaciones de usuarios ya no hacen esa asociación por no haber tenido contacto con el Goldman original. Uh -huh. O sea que en sí es como que hubo una evolución. Sí. Una evolución de, de, que, de andar el Goldman al final como eso, de que no era tan cómodo lo que decíamos, de que era un portable. Eh, de, de Sharger was Thank you guys for coming back. Creería que las demás ya van a regresar. They are going to come back in some seconds too. Okay, guys, um, I'm pretty sure that you need more time uh, to create your conversation, to read, to investigate a little. So guys, uh, preparemos la, uh, you know, not prepare it, uh, but lean un poquito, you can read a little bit about some products and lo compartimos mañana and we can work on the conversation tomorrow, right? So remember that it is going to be in groups. So, oh, so le tomo fotografía. Give me one moment. So I want to make sure that we remember who is in your group. So hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys. So antes de irnos, solo me ayuden con su camarita un momento, please. Help me out with your camera. Um, I'm just going to go over attendance. Guys, terminamos eh, la semana, you know, number one tomorrow. Please don't miss it. Si van a tener vacaciones, así que please no se las tomen por adelantados. <laughs> Guys, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, so please try to come. Eh, solamente a little reminder, si tienen, you know, uh, trabajo, something super, super, super important to do, eh, let me know. Pueden apagar la camarita sin problema and... Uh, and, y les agradezco, guys, por conectarse siempre, you know. Thank you so much for always joining the session. So, me regalen confirmación verbal, please. I have um, Andrea. Present. Gracias. Adolfo. Adolfo se fue, but he was here. Carlos. Carlos is here. Christian. Delmi. Present. Gracias, Miss Helen. I think I heard Helen. Present. Gracias, Miss. Imelda is here. Present. Thank you. Miss, ¿la, la escucho enfermita? Are you feeling a little sick? Uh, no, I think just tired. <laughs> just vacation. <laughs> Yes. So you're just needing vacation. <laughs> ya pronto, mi sur. Wait. 
Where is you going to vacation? Are you going to have vacation? Mm, only the three days. How much are they? La the la la delay. The holidays. Solo uh -huh. la delay. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> pero algo es algo, you know. <laughs> so it, yes. it's something. Uh, Arnoldo, Arnoldo was here. Kenya. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss Angelica. Uh, hey, Angelica, thank you. Uh, Gabby. Present. Thank you, Miss Noemi. I'm here. Thank you, Rafa. Present. Mm, cre creo haber visto a Margarita. Yuri. Here, teacher. Gracias, Miss and Daniel. Present teacher. Gracias, guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. But bye. 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 You. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you. See you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.